Hey y'all, it's Robert, and uh, things are going pretty well on my War Boss Tay painting challenge. Spent tonight prepping the bases. Um, you know, I'm sure you all all have your own process. What I do is uh, add a little bit of putty on t on the base to uh, even the ground up under his, the miniature's feet, and um, then I just sprinkle some sand on top with a little bit of glue. Uh, you know, it's pretty simple, but I, I like the way it looks. I'm using these 25 millimeter round bases from uh, from Litgo. They're made of, I think, three millimeter MDF laser cut. Uh, I really like these things. They're they're super simple, and uh, you get a lot of bases for the money. So uh, they are my go-to base. I'm also trying out uh, Litgo's movement trays. This is I believe it's a skirmish tray and it's because you can tell it's uh, the holes are sort of uh, offset to give any unit that's on them sort of a random more random appearance rather than a straight line but it's made up of um, two layers of the three millimeter MDF and uh, they're pretty nice here's um one of the ones I've prepped here. See, I just put some sand on the top. I also went ahead and, and put some wood putty on the sides of the tray and gave it a good sanding. So hopefully that'll give it a nice smooth appearance. Uh, take this guy out. You can see what it'll look like with the miniatures on it. Well, I'll give you an idea of what it looks like with the miniatures on it. Very handy to have if you're moving or moving around a lot of figures on the table. All right, I'll get back to it and uh, show you some more progress later. All right, so I've got all the uh, bases and movement trays mostly done. Um, they came out all right. You know, I just uh, painted the sand uh, a dark brown and gave a couple of quick dry brush highlights. Thought the wood putty turned out well on the side. It's very smooth. You can't see the the seam. So I'm happy with it. Um, you know, one thing though, these movement trays, of course, because all of the um, you know the figures have a a small little base that they're standing on the um, it's not completely flush but you know once I put some grass and you know other types of flock on these movement trays it'll blend in real well but anyhow um, I've got all of the minis primed and it's uh, time to get to the fun part putting some paint on them alright y'all I'm back Let's see how I did. So uh, basically, I just did the uh, the main colors here, and I've done a little bit of highlighting work on the kilt. I've also painted a lot of their equipment black, and that's just something I do. You know, my eyesight's not the greatest, so it, it sort of um, you know brings out the you know the odd bits on the uniform. So I know where not to paint. Also helps it leaving a um, sort of a black line for a definition on the model once I get everything painted up. But uh, anyhow, compare to uh, one of the test models here. Alright, so the question of the day I'm doing is what are you adding next to your collection? Um, let's see. I've got a lot backed up already that I need to paint. So, um, I don't know. I guess, guess there is one thing. Um, I'm going to get uh, Galloping Major. They're a small company that does French and Indian War Minis from the UK. And um, Anyhow, they're doing a Kickstarter for British infantry, and I'm not really sure when that's coming out, but I'll probably pick up a couple dozen, 30 minis from that. You know, I'm looking forward to it whenever it comes out. 
Um, but otherwise, I don't, I don't really have any plans on buying anything till I, I get rid of my backlog. Alright, so that's it for the first week, and um, I'll check back in next week.